Longest palindrome substring. I wonder why we need that for. Hmm. Okay, given a string S, find the longest sub palindrome substring in S. You may assume that the maximum length of S is a thousand. For example, we have bad bad, and output is bab bab. Note B A B is also a valid answer. Example is put the C B B D, and we have B B. So next, okay, that's it. <clears throat> so all right, so right now, um, I'll, wait, hold up, I need to start my timer. Shit. So I still have to spend like two minutes reading the question. Okay. All right. Now, so on the top of my head right now, I have one brute force solution is that we can go through every single character. We can start from one character, right? So, okay, so first of all, to find a palindrome stream, the palindrome definition of palindrome is the, the definition of a palindrome string is that the reverse of the reverse string of the reverse version of the string matches is exactly the same how do i put this so the the reverse string is the same as itself how about this way right so i think oh, so first of all my solution would be okay we can reverse this entire string and see and check if there is any substring that match so we're gonna find the longest substring that matched. So for reverse the string is going to take a big O N because we have to reverse every single character plus the time that we take to find this matching substring. Now, how do we find this matching substring? So first of all, we can use a brute force solution or we can use a algorithm called KMP, which is called uh, find a substring. But I don't think that applies to this situation because KMP algorithm is to find a particular substring from a string, not not to find a not to find if two substrings match from two strings. So in order to find if two substrings match from two strings. Let's do so. We can do it when first of all, we can do it in brute force way. We can start from the first character and then try to see okay, <clears throat> if they match or not. No, it doesn't match. And the second character, <clears throat> the second character, no, it doesn't match, match because I think one, one attribute is that one attribute, for example, let me put write this down. Let me write this down. Okay, so now the reverse version of this string is, okay, this is the origin, all right? And the reverse, ver, rever, reversed string is DA, oh, it's a, well, D, D, uh, D, A, B, A, B, all right? So the reverse version of this, is this so since the match the match the, the substring the longest penetral substring we're looking for has to they have to they have to match at the exact same location for example let me take a look let me show you what i mean so a b a the the position of a b a have to be the same as the other one all right so we can just match it one by one. So B is not equal. Let's check A. A is not, okay, A is not equal. Okay, A is equal. Let's, let's, let's check, let's check A. Let's start from A and then see if B is equal. Okay, B is equal to, and we're gonna check A. Okay, A is equal. So, and D, or now this is not equal. So we have the longest as, uh, the longest we can find is, three for now so so I think this is one way to do it the other way is that we can expand each I think the other way is that we can expand from each character and see the if there is any um, palindrome substring that so we can expand from B B but, but the B has nothing no we can expand from the middle right so we can expand from the mid 
Now we can expand from from B and see. Okay, there's nothing. A, A expand from A B B B B A B A B. Okay, now this match because A from A will expand to the left and to the right until we see A or the boundary. So I have for B we can expand from to right. Okay, A expand to the right. We have we have A. And we, if we expand one more element, if we want more expand one more position, we got B, and uh, to the right we got D, so it doesn't match. So we got at most we got three. So and the fourth fourth one, well, just fourth one will just expand. Oh, okay, it doesn't match on either side. So um, right now I have two solution is to without well, two solution. Right, I spent about five minutes analyzing the problem. So I right now I have two solutions. One is to get a reverse string of this string and see the longest substrings that match. And the second solution is to to expand every single uh, character and see if they have um, uh, expand every single character, expand every single character and stop until we find the longest. Substring. Now, so what's the runtime of this? Now, if we do reverse, and then if we check, if we do reverse, and then if we do reverse and check each character, I think it's a big O N, right? So longest substring, longest final substring. So if if that if so let me see if that will work for the second example. So you have A C G D D B B C, right? So if we match, if we compare C and D, okay, it doesn't match. Okay, this match, this match, but this doesn't match. Okay, all right. So, so I think we can start from this because this one looks like a, this one looks like a, uh, uh, this one looks like a. Better solution, but what if there's one situation? What if there is, let's say, A B B D C C, and then we have C C D B B C C C D B B C. Okay, so in this case, C C is not the same. So what if we do? You know what? Let's just do C C. Okay, we have C C D C C B C. Okay. So I think the first solution was wrong because in this case the position don't match. So I think I, we can start from the second solution, expand. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let's start. Uh, we don't have much time, so let's start with the second solution. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so so for every single. So first of all, we have to make sure if uh, if this is longer than one, right? So we're gonna get the length of the string. We at least have to have one one character in the string. So if length is less than or equal to one, then we'll just return. Uh, we'll just return length. I mean, we'll just return s. I'm sorry. All right. So now, first of all, we are going to do a for loop because we have to do that for every single character. So int is i is equal to zero, and i is less than length, and i plus plus. Okay. So. And we are going to have a helper function to either to expand each character. 
Now, there are two situations for every string. Is that the length of the string is the odd number or even number. So I think in this case, we have to do it with two separate conditions. So first of all, let's assume this is odd. Okay, this is odd and, uh, and this is uh, even. Okay, so you're going to expand. If this is odd, we are going to expand it <clears throat> from, so we have S and it's going to be I. If it's odd, then we don't care about the middle. We don't care about the middle. The if it's odd like this, right? A B A. We don't care about what's in and in, in between these two characters. So we can just put I minus one and I plus one. Okay. And uh, for if it's even, okay, then now. Now we need that i and i plus one. Okay, so and uh, after that, we need a global variable to keep track of the longest length. So we need <clears throat> first of all we need the star index, and um, we need the length of the. Of the substring, all right, all right. So, these are all private and okay. So we need these two, and then we at the end we are going to return as the substring. And uh, we have start and start plus max length. All right. So now it's time to do the war the helper function. So the helper function is going to be void, and uh, we have um, string of course, and then we have the start index. You know, not 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 we have a head and. Uh, Let's say tail. All right. So if so, while head is not equal, head is larger than equal to zero, and tail is less than has dot length. Okay. So. What we're going to do is we're going to compare our oh, n. You know what? <clears throat> we're going to put it into this condition n s dot cart at head is equal to s dot cart at tail. All right. <clears throat> So if these two match, then we can. <clears throat> so if these two match, if head and tail. So if head and tail. If tail minus head is larger than max length, right? Then we should do. Is so you know what first I would say have a temporary length to have tail minus head, and then if tail length is larger than max max length, then we can update it. <clears throat> so update first of all we're gonna update uh, max length is equal to length. And then we are going to update start is going to equal to head. Okay. Now,
But we're not done yet. After that, we will increase, decrease the head by one and uh, increase the tail by one, two. All right, so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. And uh, let's test it with uh, some runs, some examples. <clears throat> so we have BAD, for example, we have a BAD, BAB, how much time I have that? Oh, 13 minutes, maybe enough. So we have BAD. B A B A D, right? So, okay, so this is obviously longer than zero. We're gonna start from the, you know, we're gonna not get rid of this reversed version because this is not the right solution. All right, so helper, we have uh, start from B. We have um, I minus one. So I is obviously uh, less than zero, so this is not right. So, and we have A, okay? So, and uh, so what about B? Hold up. So we haven't gone through the second function yet. So B for B, we go into B and A, right? So, all right. Uh, and unfortunately, B and A are not the same. So we are going to do this. Okay, so we have A. And uh, we have uh, B and B, right? So it's going to be, okay, head is larger than, okay, this all qualify. And uh, we have head is equal to tail, B and B. So right now, the, the head is zero, tail is two. So we have zero, two minus zero is two. Ah, this is not right. So I should be, so plus one, right? So, and uh, this is why you should run through a test case after you, uh, you finish your code. So we should plus one, and then <clears throat> if len is larger than If length is larger than this, then we'll update max. So max length is equal to uh, 0, 2 plus 2 plus 0. 2 plus 0 is 2 and plus 1. So we'll have, uh, we have 3 now. 3 is max length and then start is head. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> Seems about right, and then so for B, we also have the same thing for A. We it's since it's for for odd, it will have it doesn't match anything. For even, it will it will not um, for even it will not have. Uh, match so I wonder what if I only have what if I have longest subject so what if I only have a b c so longest subject is one right so the max length is so I think the max length should be one right because the worst case is one only one character, right? Because if you have zero here, then this won't match, this won't match, so it won't return anything. Right, this won't match, and any one of these won't match, so it won't return zero. So let me test, if it's A, B, C, then what will happen? Compile error. Then twenty two. Oh, okay, missing our parentheses here. Maybe okay. Looks about right. So I think um, we can submit it and then see uh, how it goes. All right. Wish I can pass. Mm -hmm. Please, please.
Accept it. Okay, perfect. All right. Now. Yep. So I think the point of this. Uh, now this is tricky, but almost it almost got me. So remember the cases where there's no, uh, there is only one. Like all the characters are distinct. Distinct. So this is one situation we have to consider. And then let me check the runtime. I think we can check the runtime of this more details. Be eighty one percent. So not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, this is how you would uh, find a. This is how you would find a. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I was gonna say. So this is the tricky part. So, so remember, all characters are. If if characters this are these things, if all. Distinct, and uh, the other one, the other tricky part is here. Um, remember, remember to plus one. I forgot to plus one because two plus zero is three. At the length of three, two minus zero. L the L the the length of element zero to element two, for example, is three. So you remember you, you have to subtract it and then minus and plus one. All right, um, that's it. How, this is how you would get a longest palindrome substring. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. As always, happy coding.